welcome back to the ATP. It's your boy Jonathan, and here to talk about football and only football. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the comment section. And I'm with your boys. Yo, yo, I'm Haji. I'm JQ. It's been a rough week, and we're here to bring soccer to you. And we'll start by Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Ten Hag loses again. And it's not good in the Premier League for him after winning the same team, Crystal Palace, in the cup game. And they lost 1 0. So, why do you think Ten Hag is getting the team wrong? I think uh, for Ten Hag, uh, he needs more, 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 and much experience. And uh, he has to play three to four seasons and then starts playing well, not playing the way he's playing now. And then. But how did you see the game? Because they dominated Crystal the, Palace. Dominating Crystal Palace with, with no brain doesn't win you games. Okay. You have to dominate the game while you are playing, in, with, while you are playing with, the, with the brain. The way he played, I don't think it will, it, it will, it will give him more wins or it will give him a productive uh, match, in that match in, in, in that game. You think United did not put enough effort to win the game? Because I personally think they, they were unlucky. They I know in football they were unlucky <coughs> okay. because they dominated the play. There were poor finishes or poor choices made from Rashford and guys like that. So I okay. think it was down to the players rather than the playing staff in this case because okay. forgetting they just beat crystal palace in the cup game and they beat well, uh, uh, for me I, I would say you know when you 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 allude to the cup game but you know the cup and the premier league yeah, yeah mm. it's different different uh, yeah game. like it's different competition you 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 line up not line up sorry but you would set up yeah. differently like for the for the premier league game you can come like a crystal palace can come to manchester united okay they, they played in crystal palace but yeah you can come to the game for one point <clears throat> Yeah. In the cup, you can maybe go all in or something like that. So I thought. So you think Manchester United are missing? What What do you think Manchester United are missing as a team? Um, or is it Ten Hag that's getting the formula wrong, or is it the team? Not in that particular game. For me, in general, I've been looking at Ten Hag. Like Ten Hag has to answer to certain questions yeah. at this moment. But um, in that Crystal Palace game. For me, I, I like to see perspectives. Like w winning and losing is the ultimate thing. But sometimes when you lose, it doesn't mean you've played badly. Yeah. Or when you win, it doesn't mean you played well. Yeah. I think Manchester United played very well, but they couldn't get the break they, I, in my opinion, deserved. That's why I, I'm saying like most of the time, you might play nice, you might play very, very well in front of the audience but not in terms of tactics and how you are playing. Sometimes you are playing sideways and you are supposed to play direct. Yeah. Use your number 10s, use your number 8s, use your best players, use your creative players, go, for, go in the middle instead of going sideways or, or going for a long ball. If you play a long ball against a team like Crystal Palace, they will easily defeat you. Yeah. They, will, they, they can easily defend your team. Yeah. So. For me, if you are playing nice, you have to play nice with brain. Oh. You get me? Yeah. So the, one of the main reasons why Ten Hag is not ticking the boxes yeah. in terms of winning yeah. is that the setup. Yeah. You are setting up Manchester United. You are not setting up Ajax. Yeah. <laughs> so when you are setting up Manchester United and you are you are playing in the Premier League, you need much, much, much more tactical knowledge than just going. Go, 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 play. So I, I would move, ask use you, the space, no. I would ask you, do you think Ten Hag is good enough to be coaching Manchester United? I don't think. I don't think so. That's the, the main which reason. Which manager out there is good enough right now, if not Ten Hag? If not Ten Hag... Be, or, or, taking the, all the managers that still have the job, <coughs> let's say United suck Ten Hag, who do you think okay. they get that I, takes them to the promised land? I like, I like managers who has their own ideas. I like managers who can implement but and Ten twist, Hag, Ten Hag and twist players. Ten Hag came a whole season, he played, he finished the second. The second season is, is disastrous. The way we are seeing at United now is disastrous. We thought maybe Manchester United will be like plus one yeah. in terms of where they were last season. Yeah. I thought they will do like 
they will upgrade. Yeah. But now they're not upg- upgrading anymore. They're like, they played six matches and yeah. they, they only won two matches. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. So that's not an upgrade to me. But if okay. Ten Hag is supposed to yeah. do something, he has to change his tactics yeah. and th- the style of play. Anything to add? Um, okay. I think I am somebody who rated Ten Hag last year. Yeah very highly i was always talking about him he was implementing first he came with discipline and yeah. you know next making players improve individually like luke shaw a little bit of uh we 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 we, we all knew dalo was talented but yeah. under ten hag we started to see like yeah, yeah, Dalot, you know yeah. even barcelona was looking yeah, at him yeah, a bit yeah. right so players were improving i i feel like a lot of people say he doesn't improve anybody who has improved yeah. but players were improving Sometimes improvement is down to the coach and the player himself, right? Yeah. We saw uh, a, a serious improvement from Rashford last year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But then he has to, there should be continuity. Yeah. yeah. And I expected, like he said, a plus one, yeah. right? Um, they upgraded on the goalkeeper. I yeah. think that was an upgrade. Because yeah. when you look at De Gea towards the end of last season, even the, yeah. the Gundogan goal in the FA Cup final, I mean, that was cheap. Yeah. Let's be honest, that was cheap. So, but Onana concedes cheaper goals. Onana concedes cheaper goals. To my goals. surprise, because I yeah. think Onana is a better yeah. goalkeeper United, than they I have. think they need to sort out the defense and probably help Casemiro out. But even though the goal was a screamer, we have to It was a screamer. It's, it's, there's it nothing they can, so nothing yeah. can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it, but they need to improve on the, on the DM with Casemiro, who they pair Casemiro with in Amrabat. Probably when the players get well, back they play up. Amrabat at yeah, left yeah, back because probably they have they're having more injuries in that position. Like all the players having injuries, so yeah, that's 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 for Manu. So the next game we had a big upset, and for me it's how who 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 do you think City missed the most in their in their Wolves loss, the two one loss to Wolves. Yeah, uh, for that game, uh, City City had lost. Uh, before the match, yeah, 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 yeah. Before because uh, City were playing with uh, Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, and Rodri. Yeah. So when all these three players are missing, yeah. for them to for them to not concede a goal, yeah, is highly unlikely. Yeah. Because everyone everyone will have will have known that oh City will either draw or they will lose. Yeah. Because okay, we know wolves were so bad. We know wolves were not uh, very good in this the last five matches yeah. before they played against City. Yeah. But at wolves, Guardiola hates. Yeah. Yeah. He so, hates a lot. So who do you think City missed the most in, in, the, in Yeah, Rodri. Rodri. You think Rodri. they missed? I think they missed the most. I think they missed uh, KDB than Rodri because they needed the clear chance creation. I think. Alvarez, um, in spite of him scoring the fantastic free kick, he had an underwhelming game because Wolves managed to close him out. But for KDB, he can create from deep and he can find Haaland more. But I think when Alvarez is playing with Haaland, he creates for Haaland, but it's not from deep. It's always close to the edge of the box where KDB can find Haaland or anybody who City is playing with from outside the box. He can bring in that driving passing and they will create chances. So for me, I don't think they missed Rodri because I think they controlled the game okay, except that they got their own goal from Diaz, and then the last goal, which was fantastic from the Korea, uh, from the from the Asian Juan, Asian Juan, oh, Juan. Juan. The, the the sorry the the Korean guy. Oh, Korean guy. As, 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 yeah, as yeah. the Korean. So guy. that's what I think of the game. How about how about you? Who do you um, think City missed? Um, for sure, most? for sure. You know. Um, it's Rodri. For me, without Mbappe at his pump, yeah. I think Rodri is the best player in the world. Yeah. And the thing is, he gives you different things. Rodri, can, can, he has now added other facets to his game. Like, he can be a mini creator. Not a high-volume creator, but yeah. he pops up and gives you a good enough pass. Yeah. Clip ball over the top, yeah, exactly. you know. But the most important thing is how well he stops the transition from other teams and when you look at a wolves yeah. they set up with a back three yeah. right no back five basically yeah 
to hit you on transition yeah. with Semedo going down the line, Ainuri on the left hand side, yeah. Neto, you know, Cunha, Juan. So you think you think uh, Rodri stops those chances? Rodri, Rodri moves the goals, the, especially the two goals. Yes, the understanding. You see, you see the the, the two sitters that City had were um, what Kovacic and the ex wolves player Nunes. Nunes, yeah. These players are forward thinking players. Yeah. They don't naturally sit. So yeah. Rodri can go forward but he has that defi- defensive mindset. Yeah. So he would always find a way to fit back into that hole that yeah. just makes him relevant enough defensively even yeah. if he's yeah. going forward. And there are certain things without Rodri, Manchester uh, Manchester City loses 33 percent of their games with him they lose 13 percent of the games Mm. they concede less than one goal when he's playing they concede more than a goal when he's out so clearly here i understand the kdb i i rate kdb very highly but right now roger is more important yeah to the team to to man city than than kdb uh, than kdb and they had a lot of shots as well they had a lot of shots and they you could say they created do you think they created enough chances to to score to score goals? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But they couldn't stop the team from not scoring. So I feel like an own goal. But anyway, I, I see. Yeah. I okay. See, but, but, but but I see one. Go- I would say it's just one goal because yeah. Diaz missed times because it's a tackle. Wherever the ball goes, you cannot control. True. So true. I don't think Rodri stops that. But anyways, we would have to see the future on how they deal with Arsenal without Rodri, and then we'll see who City really misses but i still stand city can still replace anybody but then we go to the next game we i call it the VAR era game in mm. the liverpool uh tottenham game mm. uh, which ended 2-1 in tottenham's favor after mm. a matip uh, i know as is this one might hate you after a matip on goal uh, after after going, Matt going it into after two men goal. got sent off and liverpool was became like a different team i like that about liverpool where Klopp gives that fighting spirit to the team to keep on pushing, even if you are a man down or two men down. Like even without the on goal, if Martin if Marty, uh traps that ball and tries to clear it the other way, probably yes, he has tired legs. He's been running for an extra man, so he couldn't find the shape of his legs and it hits the back of the net. I understand, but the way Liverpool played that game you would see that these guys could actually challenge for the title. Because even in the loss, I think it gives Liverpool belief that they can go for this title because they really took the game to Spurs, even with the man down. So what do you think about that game? May I please go first before he... Before he... he, he, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay, Um, Like our, you know, my, 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 my fellow pundits will say, I'll try not to be biased try 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 I'll try not to be biased um a lot of liverpool fans are complaining a lot about yellow card red card va va yeah the va listen listen scousers yeah karma you know there's something called karma i'm a karma. chelsea fan karma we played in the fa cup final and you y'all know lukaku was on side yeah, yeah, even from that game before you go on the, from those game there were there were even some memes I saw where there were some elbows from Mane against Aspilicueta. Yes. There was a high boot from Keita. Yes. I don't know who he hit, um, but it was in the groin region. Even this one was Tottenham's re- redemption, I guess, because even in the Champions League final, yeah. that's uh, Mane's ball on Sissoko's hand. That yeah, yeah, ball yeah. to the hand, wait, not wait, handball. Wait, 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 it wait, was wait. given as a penalty, wait, wait, and wait, they won. Yeah, let him go, let him go. So, this, yeah. you know, I, yeah. I mean, at some point, karma hits. Yeah, you yeah. get me? So I feel like they should just move on. And when it comes to the yellow card uh, from um, Jota, the first one on Yudogi, if you're a Liverpool fan, you will say it's not. It's accidental. He didn't mean it. If, you're, if you talk football, it's a foul. Yeah, it's a foul you're a foul. stopping a, yeah. a player from clearly progressing. He's beyond you. Yeah. So it's a yellow card every single time. If you talk the jersey, you pull the player back, or you trip the leg. It's a yellow card. Yeah. Accident or no accident, he was running yeah. and his knee yeah. contacted, whether he meant it or not, yeah. his knee contacted Yudogi yeah. and Yudogi fell well, down. Were you, were you impressed by Spurs, like the game, in the game? Like, what impressed you? What were your highlights from the game? 
Um, I think Spurs are showing everybody that no matter how good you are, we're going to play how we want to play. Yeah. That's a that's a a little, you know, like they want to show they're here. Yeah. You know how Arsenal came last year yeah. and they kind of came at everybody. Yeah. Spurs are kind of do you, doing do you think that they, they can challenge after such a win against a Liverpool? Do you think they can after try to challenge seven them? games? Oh, okay, for me, you know, in our predictions of the top six, yeah, I don't have them in my top six. Yeah. I, I'm I'm looking yeah. a bit silly right now, yeah, yeah, I'm looking a bit silly right now. But right now, after this big win, the momentum the momentum yeah. looks like it's there, even how they were celebrating, yeah. it looks yeah. like they, they they feel that yeah, unity yeah. and everything like that. Um, I still feel like the defensively they're too open mm. i keep saying it and nobody just play a low block and mm. counter for me that's i feel like that's a solution yeah they are going to keep possession they played so well they, i don't think if we if you want to say i want to see them against man city anyway yeah but if you want to counter them like 1v1 i feel like nobody will be able to do it at this moment because they played so well yeah. and Bisuma and Madison are yeah. uh, madness at yeah. the moment. And uh, what's your take from the game? Uh, <coughs> speaking of this game... Uh, you want was, to cry, right? It, no, it <laughs> was actually... <laughs> he said he wants to vomit. It, it, was, <laughs> yeah. it, it was a very big task they asked us. Yeah. Uh, because we, we, we played only smaller teams so far, yeah. except Chelsea. Yeah. First time I'm agreeing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, the first challenge was Chelsea. But yeah. the, the rest were just smaller teams. Yeah. Even though we played against Newcastle with 10 men yeah. and Bournemouth 10 men. Yeah. But this game, every Liverpoolian was looking forward to it. Yeah. And uh, everyone thought, like, this is the challenge. Let's see what club well, what, has. Yeah, let's see what, what club has and what everyone want, yeah. in Liverpool has or what these players yeah. can do. Yeah, what can do. Yeah, in a proper match. Yeah. So by the time we, 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 we stepped into the White Hart Lane, now it's London Stadium. Yeah. By the time we stepped in, the match started very well. Yeah. And uh, we were enjoying it, to be honest. Yeah. It was all about full throttle, heavy metal football. Everything was... Yeah. So you liked what you saw from Liverpool? Exactly, in the first 20 minutes. Yeah. Then all of a sudden what happened was that a poor, poor decision from the referee. Yeah, the I, I, I refereed a lot of games. I refereed a, a very competitive matches before yeah. in my life before. Yeah. But that one will never be a red card for me. In, in the one at uh, Curtis Jones one. Yeah. But for Diego Jota, yes, I can see the first one was a yellow card yeah. because it is behind the player. Yeah. The action happened behind and the player. And what about the VAR? The VAR the, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm coming yeah. to it. I'm coming yeah. to it. But when it comes to Curtis Jones, player stepped on the ball. He couldn't even stop. Mm. And then when you're giving a red card, it has to be a very high boot that a very high boot that the start sh- has to be high. Yeah. And it has to be a very dangerous tackle. Yeah. But when you see the replay, in they only motion, showed him yeah. in a slow motion. In they slow only showed him more dangerous. They in only slow no, looks more dangerous. Exactly, yeah. it's not yeah. even in the slow motion. Or stop. It, yeah. They only showed him one picture. Yeah, a picture. It will look more a dangerous. Free yeah. Spring. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They only showed him a picture, and when you see a picture, it's a different angle. Yeah, it's a different. It's a different you, angle. Yeah, the different even, narration. Yeah. yeah, everyone. But even, these even, things. Even they, someone who doesn't know football. It's just the referee. The referee in general. I don't think is a. I think Liverpool are crying too much. Um, <laughs> this happens to everybody. Yeah, but everything happened. Uh, Malo, Malo Gusto had a red card against. Yeah. Uh, but Malo Gusto was aggressive. Villa. Malo Gusto was aggressive and he was tackling. No, 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 he no, no. Tackling. He was kicking. No, no, no. It was he kicked the he like the, the ball, ball was in the middle. The ball he, he kicked the ball and okay. then the he follow through went. The follow into through the went, went into. into. I don't think it was a follow through. He kicked the ball while his foot was high. How can it you kick the, the ball is on the ground? How do you kick the ball when your foot you, when your foot is high? You no, see, I don't know how to, you see no, these Liverpool fans. They are, they the are so biased. They it's, it's, I think that no, one no, maybe no. is a yellow, but coming, it's coming a back, yellow, yeah. I will take a yellow. We, we will on come Malo to that. Coming yeah. back to coming back to the the decision where we were we were one man down and they just scored a goal. Yeah. How on earth you have the best communication? You brought in VAR to yeah. help such thing. How on earth will you be like they released? They showed everything to the to, to the VAR assistant and everything. How on earth will you miss out that one? I just saw in the first glimpse, I said, okay, that's a goal. Yeah. 
seconds later, even the stadium, they had four, four, four big screens. Three of, 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 of it were not showing, but the last one was showing even after, even after five minutes, it was showing the video. Mm. And the ref couldn't even stand and say, what, what am I seeing? Yo, what are you saying? Because they were talking to each other. Yeah. You yeah, get me? Talking to each other. Because there's communication here. How do you miss cry, that one? Don't cry. You can't miss. So, so, okay. so from this it's game, but when it comes to when it comes to the own goal, Matip did. Okay, the, after after one man down, then another one down, and the goal denied. We fought. Yeah. Liverpool so fought do you for see it very Liverpool well. Challenging for the title after. Of course, after. we will challenge. We will challenge for the after. title. All right, guys. We, will challenge for the we, title. we we got him. We of course, we got him. Of course, we will okay? challenge we got for the title. I didn't say we will win. I didn't so, say we'll win. Yeah, okay, okay. I so, say we'll challenge so, for the title. So next, so next, we are, we are, yeah. we, we, we finally got a billion reasons in Poch winning mm -hmm. against Fulham. We got a, a the billion worth in in a Copama, forty-five million player. Uh, so how was the mid-table mid-table win for a mid-table team? How was it? Uh, I will start this one. Yeah, I will start this one. <laughs> uh, Team like Wolves won two matches after seven matches. Yeah. So it's just like that. Oh, is it, it's just. It's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. It's not about Mikhailo Mudrik, so a hundred million player, he scored a goal. It's, it's sixty-five not about, million, by the way. It's not. It is a hundred million in terms of. We are not in a foreign exchange. <laughs> our, our room. You get me. Well, it's a hundred well, million, whatever it costs. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so the so, other one is the other one is. So you it, don't think this is their breakthrough game? It's not a surprise. It's, it's not. Surprise. It's not their breakthrough game. What? Pochettino has finally found the no, formula no way. winning going forward. No forward. way. Whether 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 Colma plays mm. or Mudrik scores, they played against Fulham, a mid table. Fulham. Yeah. And they they, they uh, won. You, you want to tell surprise. me the results? Fulham Fulham versus uh, Arsenal in Emirates. Th that's not a surprise. They tied two two. They defended well at, at at Arsenal because they knew Arsenal were a very good side. But they attack you because they knew you are not a good side. Then yeah, you score. they missed. They, there was a sitter missed by. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. they. Then you. you I'll, I'll, just scored. I'll let you. So there's, okay, there's no big finish. difference in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no big difference in there. On top of that, Pochettino. So, Pochettino. I rate him very well. Yeah. I rate him average as a coach. Yeah. But this one, Chelsea will suck him in the end. You think Pochettino? Will so you don't think this is the making of Chelsea building to now? making their team go. I don't think so. I don't think so. This weekend is coming. Yeah. This weekend is coming. They will lose. Against Burnley. They are f the first Burnley. Is it Burnley? Yeah, yeah the first Burnley. If Burnley it's, away. If, if, if it's Burnley, uh, I, I will take the odds draw. They mm. will draw because Burnley are not doing that much well, yeah. but they will have their chances. Yeah. But when it comes to Chelsea, Chelsea winning streak will not be long. Will not be long. Okay, it, will be, it will be just like a mid-table team whereby yeah. they win, they lose three matches or they draw yeah. two matches, they win again. Such things will not surprise we'll me. We'll go to the Chelsea, Chelsea man. What, what, what's your take on um, the game? And then yeah, his porch finally found the winning formula. I'm licking my lips because it's too... I, like, like I, 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 I taste the salt. Yeah. You mad, bro? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you mad, bro? I'm Are you not. sad? Are you I'm okay? Not. That the, the Chelsea targets in Enzo and Caicedo. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's it's like I, 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 I taste. Not, I taste the salt. Yeah, after, I taste the salt. They, they chose to play for Chelsea. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. First of all, um, this is a, this is. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call it the turning point. I feel like the team has been good throughout these weeks there's always the growing pains pochettino doesn't know his best team i'll, I'll be honest yeah. he doesn't know his best team yet and this lightning in a bottle that we have in cole palmer mm, boy could be special yeah could be special mm. a 10 7 11 false nine you put him anywhere this is what you know this is what we thought we were getting in kai havertz yeah but we mistakenly got him from a Man City graduate in Cole Palmer. Mm. Um, when it comes to the Fulham game, Fulham is a tough out. Fulham is a good team. They are a solid team, right? They, they, they prepare well for every single game. Yeah. And in the first 10 minutes, we dismantled them. We should have scored four goals in the first 10 minutes, yeah. if not for the cheap missed chances. And Broja, who hasn't played for a year, yeah. coming back and skying his first chance Luckily, he got in and he scored. Scored a lucky goal. Lucky he scored goal. a... Well, he was going to... deflection. It's a deflection. Yeah, but he was going to tap deflection. it in anyway. 
If, oh, if, the ball was away from no, him. If Rim, no, no, no. If, if, Rim did did not, if, if Rim did not touch if, it. If Rim did not touch it, I think it no, 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 no. Don't think, don't think. Him. Look at it. If Rim, it. no, no, no. Frame by frame because it was in Rim. No. The pass was off from Kopama. No, it wasn't off. The pass was it wasn't away off. from his body, like to swing. No. So if if Rim actually took it, the, took it the other way. The no only way. way that ball doesn't go in if Rim kicks it that side. Mm-hmm. If Rim kicks it that side for a corner, but, but if I the ball comes roll, through, I think he doesn't. No, if the ball comes through, the ball hits his foot. He just, he basically has. You know how you anticipate a header, and you put your head. I think he was just running, and then no, the, no. Rim cleared the, the ball and his leg. No, because he's you, in the running motion. He no, you can't. You can't. He when you run, you don't run. Do you run with your? <laughs> do you run with your outside foot set? Because the ball hits him. If you think ping ball, the ball hit him. So that means he, he had outside. already prepared his foot to tap the ball in, and Rim just kicked the, the ball into that foot. So it just went in the same direction. If yeah. he was running, his foot would be straight. It would hit his foot and go that the right side. Anyway, um, yeah, Cole Palmer, he has been playing well. Cole Palmer has more key passes in a game than the one they are shouting about Sabo Sly. But Sabo Sly he's only is, started okay, one game. I'm just saying, it's just stats. It's yeah, absolute, yeah, it's right? Absolute, yeah, absolute. Exactly. He has more, more key passes than Sabo Sly. Uh, we're not going to talk about Mount or, or Kai Havertz. Okay. All I'm saying is we're coming, we're building. Kaiseido was masterful in the midfield. Enzo was masterful in the six. Galaga was superb. Okay, that's that's... That's it for today from the ATP on the game week. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the bell button for the notifications. And don't forget to share. It's your boy, Noma. And from the guys, well, we out. <laughs>